talk about the scheduler feature in minor stat. Um, so first thing you're going to do is come over here to left hand side under automation, click on scheduler. Um, I already have a couple things in here uh, just because I've been testing it out but I wanted to make a video on it just because there's a couple things that I was thinking about potentially using this for. Um, so as you can see like here, so with Sheba, I have it mining from 8 to 8, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then switching to Cosmos from 8.01 to 7.59 a.m. For the video, I'm going to create a new one and just show how you can utilize it to auto switch um, programs uh, without having to come in and manually change anything. So if you go here to add new profile, we'll choose a worker. We can just do like the 3060s for instance. Um, and let's say we want to mine every Monday through Wednesday. We want to mine, let's just do midnight to midnight on Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday. And then we're going to do, let's do ETH. So it'll already select ETH. And then we're going to do, let's just put Ethermine for this example. Password, you can change it here if you want to. X, one, two, three, um, whatever you want your password to be. Um, and then make sure you set your clock tune profile, um, for instance, to ETH. And then we'll click actually we'll name it so we can do like ETH um, Monday through Wednesday T-Rex and then we can save that and we now have a new schedule for ETH um, I'd have to go turn these off for it to actually switch over to these. Um, but Monday through Wednesday, ETH on T-Rex. Um, but then let's say for the rest of the week we want to mine uh, Ravencoin, for instance. So we'll do Thursday through Saturday. And we'll do, let's just do T-Rex Miner again. We're going to change this to Ravencoin. And we're going to do, let's just do Ethermine Raven. So you have to actually change your algo down here. So instead of ET hash, we're going to do Kapow. And then we can choose our Ravencoin overclock settings. Um, and we'll name this one RVN. And then it will be Thursday through Saturday, T-Rex. Save, Oop. select the worker, 3060s, save changes, and then come here to scheduler. Then we would have ETH running Monday through Wednesday and Ravencoin running Thursday through Saturday. Um, obviously, that's just a made-up schedule. Um, you would want to set to whatever makes sense. But the, the thing that I was thinking about was, so I actually sell 80% of the ETH that I mine, and I keep 20%. So I sell 80, and I keep 20. So what I was thinking about doing was actually calculating what, how much I would need to mine to reach my 20% that I save, and then just have it mine directly to that, say, the, the, I have two separate wallets, the wallet that I have for saving, then the wallet that I sell um, everything on from the exchange. And so the idea I had was to set up this scheduler to um, mine specifically just for that certain time frame that I need to get my 20% to save and then have it switch over to the other wallet um, 
for the rest of the month and then sell that ETH. That way I don't have to pay the exchange fee or like the, the uh, network fee whenever I send the um, ETH from my main wallet to uh, the wallet where I save it. So that's an idea I had. I think I can use the scheduler in that way. Um, I would definitely have to toggle it on and off each month, I would think. But I could like calculate out, okay, well, if I mine for a solid, whatever, seven days or something, you know, let's just say Sunday, Sunday to Sunday, um, a full seven days, that that will be the 20%. Um, and I can just have it mined to a certain wallet, you know, set up another ETH wallet. That's the one that I save that I save it on um, and have it mined Sunday through Sunday just for a week to that wallet and then um, set up another scheduler to switch it over to the main ETH wallet, this one right here. So not sure if that works. Um, I kind of want to test it out um, if anybody has tried that before and saw success or didn't see success, let me know uh, down below. I would be curious to know if it works or not. So that is simply how you use the scheduler tool. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and remove these, though, um, just because I have another test that I'm running, obviously, that you can see with uh, Shiba and with Cosmos. So I want to let that keep running. Um, it's been working pretty well so far. I can actually show um, it switches over all on its own, which is really cool. It's like if we go the last three days or something, and then we do scheduler. So it's going to show you. So like every time it has changed, because um, it only runs for 12 hours on each one. So it'll mine. It'll do uh, Shiba for 12 hours, and then it will do. Uh, cosmos for 12 hours um, been pretty cool so far um, I'm really liking the scheduler tool I'm trying to figure out how I can use it more uh, just because I think it's really cool another one that I want to look into is the profit switch um, that they have I haven't actually set that up or tested it before so um, that's something I do want to try as well but I also had a really cool idea um, I was actually kind of surprised that people are watching my YouTube videos. Um, I didn't really expect that to happen. Um, I just was kind of filming these videos for my own um, kind of record just to see where I started at and how far this journey has gone on with this hobby um, over time, uh, just so that I can look back and reflect and there's like actual recorded videos. I can go back and look at things um, at that specific date and time just because crypto is always changing and so like i i like to watch a lot of videos by um by red panda mining um and red fox crypto um seb fintech he's another uh, good one but the thing that i like with uh red panda mining is that he reflects back on past videos from like a year ago or the year before that where like prices were way different, network difficulty was way different, the amount of coin that is yielded is way different. Um, and so it's just really cool to be able to reflect on those things and see like, oh, wow, this is how far things have come. And to go through like a bear market versus a bull market and just to be able to have videos during those different times just to see how this whole hobby kind of progresses. Um, but with that, I wanted to do something really cool that I haven't really seen anybody else do. I've seen Red Fox Crypto do something similar a couple times. Like occasionally at the end of his videos, he will um, have people comment and he'll do like random comment picker um, and then mine to somebody's address for 24 hours. Um, so my channel's really small, but if somehow at some time, it gets up to like a hundred. If we get to a hundred subscribers, then I'll make a video and um, all of the comments, I'll do the ram random comment picker. And 
I will everything that I have that can mine Ethereum. Um, <clears throat> I only have two things on uh, miner stat, two rigs, but everything that I have um, at the time, whenever that happens, I will mine Ethereum to the winner's address for a full seven days. So I think it'd be really cool. Nobody's really done that before. I think it'd be just something different. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see if we can make that happen. And thanks for watching.